three times. Yes, please. Avatar. Babaki. Avatar. Babaki. Avatar. Babaki. Jay Baba. Over to you, Pratapji. Jay Baba. Thank you. Thank you. Last time, Prakashji had uh, told me about one song which he heard and we, which he wanted me to sing here. I have pre prepared for that song. And along with that, whatever thoughts, whatever memories come to my mind during Baba's time, I will be sharing with all of you. And uh, also the meaning of the song, which I intend to do. But before that, I have a few words about uh, Mirvava's nature. God man as he was, or he is, there is no was in his case. It is all in him. His love was so very ceaselessly flowing. And for the sake of that love for his for his children, during his twelfth gathering, Baba had addressed the people as my dear, dear children. So toward the children, the love that he had, it is simply unmatchable, indescribable. And for that matter, I will tell you some of the examples when which which will tell you as to how she was feeling so much concerned about his lovers. Last time we talked about a public program in Pune. That was on the, on the 14th of January, 1954, 56. That was the day on which uh, Baba had held that uh, public darshan program. And I had already said that I was, uh, that time I, I said from nine o'clock, but Baba had started the darshan right from eight o'clock and the darshan was ended at six o'clock. During this time, Baba only once got up for, for eating and for having a cup of tea, and then again resumed the darshan. A time came when the rush was so much, the Baba was distributing that prasad with both hands. This is one example. During East West gathering, Baba was sitting right from morning. Morning, he was spending time with the Westerners. That time also, Baba never rested, in fact. Rest was perhaps not in his nature. And he would see that his lovers coming from far up distances, they, they feel satisfied with his uh, love. And in the afternoon, he will give the time for all, including the Westerners and Easterners also, Indians also. So the, 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 this thing would go on up to five o'clock, six o'clock at times. And during that time, Baba would be seated at one, one place only. Eraj will be, if it is very hot, Eraj will be changing Baba Sadara. 
he will wipe up his uh, face occasionally and there are examples that uh, before there has been uh, one 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 program was the, uh, the east west gathering that was for uh, for first to 5th of november 1962 and 1965 also there were a uh, darshan programs this baba held in gurprasad all these programs just before going for his program baba would feel so very weak in fact in 65 he was not able to stand dr baruch and dr erich both were near to baba near baba and they were erich was just insisting baba your your health is not good and why you is it for giving darshan to the people people are quite sensibly understand that uh, your health is not good they want to mind if you don't go but baba would not listen to that once he start, uh, he got up and he uh, his feet with legs were so very trembling that he had to sit again sit sit down this happened twice this happened twice and every time erich was just requesting baba baba let let it be don't 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 take over exertion you are not even able to stand how you will sit there giving darshan to the people but then baba would not listen and ultimately for the third time putting his both arms on on the shoulders one arm on erich's shoulder and another on dr barucha's shoulder and he went inside in the pendol and raising his hand he greeted all the people that sight of is a simple sight of him was so very blissful and so very enjoyable people used to feel lost in that uh, atmosphere but then on the other hand you see that see the troubles which baba was taking for the sake of his lover if we think of that then what 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 the mandali used to say we mean mandali used to say that he has crushed his body he has crushed his body that we then understand what is that crushing not caring apart from that <clears throat> whenever he is supposing he station that uh, satara or pune or somewhere else then he will not sit quiet he will be just going from here to there or must tours for several uh, several such programs several travels and that way that the all these travels and all this work was so very hectic that uh, baba was neglecting so much about his own health and his 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 fast his seclusions and fast they are just unimaginable for us why is he all doing all these things perhaps that is the that is for that is the reason for which he had descended on this earth now this this song which i have selected and suggested by prakash ji that i will take up and then along with that along with the meaning if at all any thought thought comes to my mind i will definitely share it with you so 
I hope you you will like to listen. And I will be simultaneously explaining you the meaning of it. Aapki khushboo se hai har shak yaha behka hua. Your fragrance or the fragrance emanating from you is reaching far and wide, and everyone. is getting intoxicated and mad because of that fragrance it, when it reaches the people people get mad after it people get intoxicated with that fragrance the next time they jaane nahi रोशनी जाने की से जाने नहीं ये रोशनी जाने की घर से आ गई सुबह तो फिर सुबह रही सुबह तो फिर सुबह रही रातों में भी ज 
जाने नहीं ये रोशनी जाने कहाँ से आ गई सुबह तो फिर सुबह हुई सुबह तो फिर सुबह रही रातों में भी उजाला हुआ द मीनिंग इज नो बडी नोज वेयर फ्रॉम दिस लाइट इज कमिंग मॉर्निंग इज आर लाइटेड इज जैसे नेचुरल कोर्स इज अ नेचुरल कोर्स वी गेट लाइट इन द मॉर्निंग बट हियर द थिंग इज डिफरेंट we are getting the light in the night also in the dark night also some light is coming a bright light is coming and what is that light the source of that light that light is a divine source not ordinary not this electric electric light it is it is divine light that is coming and because of the divine light the nights are also illumined जो आपकी रूहानिया जरे जरे में छा गई जो आपकी फूलो करम रंग ही रहा फूलो करम रंग ही रहा माटी करम उजला हुआ फूलो करम रंग ही रहा माटी का रंग उजला हुआ योर स्पिरिट योर सोल योर लाइफ इज परवेडिंग थ्रू द एवरी एरी आइटम एवरी आइटम ऑफ दिस अर्थ flowers are shining with their varied colors but even the earth or the soil is also appearing appearing radiant leave aside the flowers flowers are giving that beautiful colors but the soil is also giving a very fresh color that is because of his coming on this earth jo aap ke aane se hai jo aap ke aane se hai duniya ka ye alam raha जो आपके आने से है दुनिया खाए कलियों का खिलना लाजिम ही था कलियों का खिलना लाजिम ही था पत्थर मिला पिघला हुआ कलियों का खिलना लाजिम ही था पत्थर पिधरा हुआ बिकॉज ऑफ यूर कमिंग ऑन दिस अर्थ द सिचुएशन ऑन द अर्थ हैज अंडर गॉन ए रेडिकल चेंज the bird started blooming blooming no wonder but the stones and roads stones stone, stones and rocks they also have started melting that is because of its coming on this earth the whole situation so atmosphere has changed to that extent that the flowers the birds are blooming 
and the rocks and stones they are melting away. There is a radical, radical change that we find because outer, this is the authentic advent which makes the whole changes. Whole radical changes are made. Sadiyo had se badi majboorian had se badi tab aana hua majboorian had se badi Since ages, the story goes on repeating. Advent taking place, God coming down on this earth, the changes in the earth, all these changes we have been described by Bhagavad, they take place during his advent. This is going on for going on for ages and ages. And when man's state of helplessness reaches its maximum height, then the God's advent takes place. The the situation, if we if we if we examine the situation at right at time at this time, there is so much of powerful personalities which are who are dis, uh, dictating over the masses, the poor class, the masses. And the masses, in spite of their tremendous suffering, they have no voice. It is, it is a cruel domination on the poor people. This suffering goes on, and this, when it reaches height, then God manifests. The present situation is like that. If you if you study the whole worldly situation, you will pretty very predominantly find this sort of this sort of circumstances when the when the rulers are dominating the poor poor class people, and the rulers are not above. Not above any impurity. In fact, their lives are full of mischief and full of unimaginable voices. But then they are rulers and they, the poor people cannot go against them. So this is a situation that is created and it compels God to come on this earth. It is uh, in the early days we were explained by Dr. Gani that uh, all the other times the five Sadhgurus they have a, they have control over a specific area. But in that five, the whole fate of this earth that was that was concentrated or that was 
contain in that five people and when avatar comes they go in the background and then avatar takes over the whole thing and he manages the whole affair of this whole creation but then before that the people suffering is unimaginable there is nobody to listen to them and then when the avatar comes i think the love which releases among the people that nullifies the suffering which the people poor people undergo as far baba lord sir concerned we do not put much attention to whatever is happening because we understand that the situation is as planned by meher baba that is the understanding which we are given and which we follow and we also know that everything will happen according to meher baba's will so the present situation is also is sort of a present adverse situation is also caused because of meher baba's will and this will will sustain and this will will sustain the love god's love on this earth the last the last but stanza is जब आपकी आहट सूरी बेतामिया बढ़ने लगी आप इस कदर हमसे मिले आप इस कदर हमसे मिले हमसे जीव रोना हुआ आप इस कदर हमसे मिले हमसे जी भर रोना हुआ किस कदर हमसे मिले हमसे जी भर रोना हुआ when i heard the sound of your footsteps I become restless and eager to meet you. And you met me when you met me so intensely that I burst into tears. I burst into uncontrollable tears. This is a very common and very strange phenomena. <laughs> as regards our relation with meher baba is concerned there are numerous examples once i think when mahatma gandhi had met baba on the rajputana boat they were both going to london that time there was a meeting of gandhi meeting baba and baba in that conversation gandhi asked meher baba why the people start weeping when they meet you even at first time why the people weep what make what make them weep and baba said from top to toe i am love and their weeping is because of that love i i i i i will give some of the examples you must have read about uh, i think i i i if i make the mistakes in 
mentioning their names then please excuse me but uh, what i remember is that um, elizabeth patterson when baba was uh, in london elizabeth patterson had asked noriana majwili to go to come to see baba meher baba and meher baba is a, a very great spiritual personality and uh, very loving tiger and we uh, should come with me and uh, norina gave a very curt answer saying that i don't have time for such things and it is said that uh, the next morning she came running to the place where baba was staying and desperately searching for meher baba where he is she was inquiring with the people i want to see meher baba what was the reason the reason was that whole night she was weeping she could not control her tears that was for no reason in fact she had not seen baba before she had not even heard about meher baba much but then what was the magic which was created in her only hearing meher baba's name that transfer transformation took place and she started weeping the whole night and that is the reason why she was so desperate in to meet meher baba <clears throat> i remember one in mumbai center a lady had given a lady from london she had given a talk and in that talk she had very beautifully explained that to uh, uh i was going to meet meher baba i did i do not know the how how i should go and meet him whether i should shake hand with her or whether i should just simply uh, say hello i was wondering and kept down wondering and when i entered the room where he was sitting i simply went and fall fell in his embrace that is that is the spontaneous action which came to be we we wish she she was in warning and then she felt so very so very happy and so very that was a soothing touch of meher baba when i had said this before also when kk ramkrishna had say, seen baba uh, had attended baba in the sarvas for no reason he went to the well and standing near the well he was dropping tears and that too was for about 8 hours he was dropping tears he could not stop the tears and when he told this story to francis brabazon there was a time when uh, ramkrishna was un- unmarried she had a very large quarter in she was working in the ammunition factory multi department and then he was having a quite a large quarter quite comfortable there were two big rooms and a closed veranda and a closed compound and everything the toilets and everything was there kitchen was separate so baba had asked francis brabazon who was also unmarried man to go and stay with kk ramshir and then naturally both are well read persons they were voracious readers and 
I have I have myself experienced that dream about the safety personalities in India. Francis knew much about them. So they in that conversation when Ram Krishna told Francis that I was waiting waiting for no reason for eight hours, and Francis says, "You talk about eight hours. I was I was waiting for eight days continuously. I could not stop tears. So this is a very strange phenomena, and here the same phenomena is." Put in poetry that when I heard that you are coming, I was so very eager to meet you, and you met me in such a way that I burst into tears. A very strange but natural phenomena. <laughs> जब आप की आहट सूरी में दामिया बढ़ने लगी आप इस कदर हमसे मिले आप इस कदर हमसे मिले हमसे जी भर रोना हुआ आप इस कदर हमसे मिले हमसे जी भर रोना हुआ आई वुड से मेरे बाबा वॉज वेरी एक्सपर्ट इन मेकिंग द पीपल वीप देर देर आर there were some people who were very tough hearted people take for example adi kirani we could not imagine that adi would be so emotional and shed tear but in his in his last days in his last days whenever he used to come to mumbai center we used to have his talk and while talking about meher baba he used to feel like throbbing and wipe off his tears i have witnessed that in the early life one cannot imagine even that adi must be so very emotional erich was also the hardest person but erich also was becoming emotional many times and ramkrishna i have already told you very tough hearted person military military man but then baba made him weep so baba was a very expert in making the people weep with in his love not for any reason not for any desire not for any complaint not for any miseries of life not for anything this is only for for the sake of love that they used to cry weep now the last time i say that people ask me Pilas Pratap is to what he has gained from Meher Baba. You see, very natural question, worldly man asks, what he has gained by loving Meher Baba, by going to Meher Baba, and following Meher Baba. It's very common question, and under that. behind that question there is a there is a hidden desire to know whether 
there is any miraculous happening in your kids. In even, uh, I was not asked by anybody that way. But people say that, what you gained by loving Meher Baba? And the answer which I have given is that I, I got a promise from Meher Baba that next time when he comes on this earth, he will bring me also with him. And every time he is advent, he will bring me with him. That is the desire which I have. दुनिया में जब भी वे आएंगे दुनिया में जब भी वे आएंगे आना मुझे ये तय हुआ दुनिया में जब भी वे आएंगे आना मुझे ये तय हुआ आपकी खुशबू से है हर शक्तियां मैं कहां हूं वाह इट्स अ ब्यूटी प्रताप जी ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल थैंक्स टू मेहर किरण फॉर रिक्वेस्टिंग दिस थैंक यू थैंक यू इट्स अ वंडरफुल सॉन्ग Wow, but did you was this shared before Baba? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I had composed only three songs: two Marathi and one Hindi. Uh, what are the names that, of those songs? That sorry, you, what are the names of the songs you sang in front of Baba? The titles that, of that. That uh, was that was a root gaye kyu meher amari. I'll sing it. Uh, that is a short song. Uh -huh. uh, in in botanical garden, Baba was giving darshan, uh -huh. and the whole whole atmosphere had become very emotional. I remember there was a quite a big hall. Adi Adi uh, Adi Kerala. He was the chief officer there, and he have he had a large quarter. There was a big hall, and Quite few few occasions, Baba had given darshan in that hall. So this uh, this also was one of the time when Baba had given a darshan, and Baba's way of attending to the people through his eyes is so very powerful that even looking at his eyes, people will feel like weeping. This is a very very common phenomena that we have noticed during all these days with life with Baba. So there, the atmosphere had become very emotional, and one of the old time person from old time person known as Baba, he must be early time. He was uh, not very really seen by us, not very really regular visitor. But then that particular day he had come, and he stood before he he was not very really close to Baba. He was in the public uh, uh, near the wall. Baba sitting right in the in the middle of the hall, and he was uh, against the wall. I I see I still see that 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 picture. He is he stood before uh, facing Baba and said, "Baba, better than you is a butcher. Butcher means who cuts the what animals. We call kasai." <laughs> Uh, Kasai, better than you is, is a butcher. 
who cuts the throat or cuts the head in one what? stroke. <laughs> but you are such a butcher who cuts the throat very slowly, 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 slowly. <laughs> which gives us more pain. <laughs> cutting on one set, it it, <laughs> it it the whole finished. But slowly cutting is very very difficult, very difficult to tolerate, very difficult to bear. That that he was saying to Baba, and that that day when our group was singing from Baba, abruptly Baba asked me to sing. I was having a very tough time those days because I had a taken up engineering as my course and I was in much difficulty, monetary difficulties and um, tr struggling to continue to study but that, that was not at all possible for me and I had to leave that engineering course after finishing one year, I had to leave it and in that mood, I used to be a little sad about it but then Whenever I went to Baba, I used to forget everything. I never complained to Baba about, about any of my personal problems. Mm -hmm. That thought never came to my mind. So that day Baba asked me to sing a song, which was unusual because we used to song along with Madhu Sudan. But that particular day Baba pointed me and asked me to sing a song. And then that song I sang. That uh, the meaning of that song is that why Meher Baba has become so very indifferent towards me. Mm. My my heart calls for him, repeatedly calls for him. Then, but, but he is so very callous about me. He he has he has become so very dry towards me. So that song I will sing for you. <laughs> Oh, 
singing this last stanza, stanza i burst into tears i could not control i started weeping very profusely and then baba allowed me allowed me to weep for some time then asked me what has happened to you what is wrong with you I, 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 I had no answer for that. I had no answer. But then Baba said that you do not seem to be, your health seems to be, you do not seem to be in a good health. When, whenever you come before me, keep on coughing, Every time you feel you, uh, I see you very sick. And uh, don't you take, don't you take uh, sumptuous food, nutritious food? Don't you take? And Baba asked me whether you take milk and butter, which in fact I could not afford. I was supporting my mother and three young brothers. And uh, in those days, the salaries used to be in hundreds, not even thousands in hundreds. So that, that luxury I could not afford. I just kept quiet and Baba asked me to stand up. And with this conversation is going on, Baba says that you feel, I, I, I see every time I see you, you I, I feel you are very sick. And then he called me near and he pressed my nails and opens my eyelids and says that you appear very anemic. Dr. Bharucha is sitting right close to Baba, but then Baba calls Gover from inside and asks Gover to check up with her just to confirm that Pratap is very, looks very anemic. And Gover comes close to me and then tells Baba, yes, Baba, he is very anemic and he requires nutritious food. And then I was asked to sit. But then after about, after Baba returned to Mera Zal, I received a letter from Mehr Baba that uh, Baba feels very concerned about your health and Baba is proud of what you are doing for your mother and younger brothers. But then, this you should do rejoicing, the, taking it to be Baba's wish. And for your better food, Baba would give you, on behalf of Baba, uh, Adi will pay you 25 rupees per month as his prasad. And you have to utilize this amount for taking milk and butter. And I started receiving that money. And this went on up to 68. 
68 it seems baba was widely of the whole affairs and i received a letter from adi kirani telling me writing to me that uh, last week i had gone to mehrazad to see meher baba and baba inquired about you baba wants to know whether where are you now what you what you are doing now and then he writes further that you remember that uh, on baba's behalf i have been paying you 25 rupees per month whether you still need that amount if you if you still need that amount don't hesitate to say yes but if you don't need then write accordingly the very next moment i took a paper and wrote, wrote to baba that i am very fortunate that baba has remembered me and uh, as far as the money is concerned i am employed now i can manage my whole my financial affairs and uh, i was taking it to be baba prasad so that prasad which was started by meher baba at baba's will he can stop any time as far as financial matters are concerned i can manage myself and then another letter which i received was that i wrote to me that from next month i will be stopping this payment to you so this was the whole story about that when there is a one addenda to the story when i was first time went to los angeles i was stating with one irani lady by name shirin in a very nice very loving woman she had three daughters but she was staying there with his youngest daughter whose name was uh, mehrnosh and um, she she when she <laughs> when one of her talks i i told this story and the next day she brought several types of <laughs> butter placed it there and scolded me why well, uh, i have kept this only for you to see why don't you take and eat <laughs> baba has, baba has asked you to <laughs> uh, so this is this is what it was and that is very touching that is a very emotional time with baba that was a very emotional time i can never forget that very so touching. yeah beautiful story yeah. and the uh, so you sang in guru prasad hall this song in front of baba right yes yeah okay and who was the gentleman who had uh, the tears in his eyes and he said about uh, baba butchering people slowly but uh, is <laughs> worse than a butcher what's his name no i don't know him because okay. he was quite new person them for us he was quite new but i was very young then and oh. he was very new person there I so see. i do not exactly know what was his name but he seemed to be okay. he seemed to be old connection of meher baba i see thank you mm-hmm. those days uh, we didn't know much uh, much about baba's people especially <laughs> the old old time people but then now now i know most of them by reading and by through attending dr ganesh lectures and everything we could know so many people even the mandali i very few people i used to know yeah Yes. And that song you sang initially aapki khushboo se hain that hmm. was actually requested by one gentleman by name Meher Kiran you, you probably saw him last time yeah Meher yes. Kiran requested that song yeah beautiful uh, thank you thank you <laughs> yeah so what what i what i what i'll be doing here after is Uh, take some selected songs and then discuss about yeah 
several yes. incidents about Mir Baba as mm. we have done today. Yeah. And and one of the songs, my request is uh, Tere Saaye Me. Tere Saaye Me. Yeah, <laughs> yes. That's a great song. Yes. You have a lot of such beautiful songs, but this one uh, definitely is very close to... <laughs> I love it very much, yeah. That, that, is, that is, in fact, a favorite song. That is also my favorite song. Yeah. How, how... I do not know how this, this song came to be composed. I am not a singer. I, I am not a... Composer, I mean, this uh, uh, composing songs. I am not a person, but then I used to like uh, poetry. Yeah. I used to like poetry in my school days. I used to like poetry. Oh. And perhaps that must have prompted me to write songs. But there was a period. There was a period. You will not believe. And now, even I feel surprised that <clears throat> a drama which we had written about me, seven avatars, starting from Dorasar and ending with Bhair Baba. That whole drama was in a poetic form. Mm -hmm. I now I cannot imagine that I have written that. <laughs> Believe me. The, the, I don't. I have not that much capacity to write a whole drama in a poetic form. <laughs> no, I but mean, that the, that came to be true. That came to be. You know what had happened is that uh, it was first time performed in uh, Pune Center, and thereafter next day, next uh, Amar uh, we had performed in uh, Merabad. In that uh, old, uh, in that on that uh, old stage, uh, just by the side of uh, Samadhi. Right. That 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 um, the, the stage which is now it was yeah. not there. This mm -hmm. was stage there we had performed, and there was a choral in between. <laughs> there was a choral. This um, the secretary of uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Harry Canmur. What is her name? Anna Rosa. Anna Rosa, yeah. yeah. Anna Rosa. She was uh, very adamant that, uh, no, uh, I won't allow that uh, children's program now because I have brought films for to be shown to the people. And um, Adi has called me. Adi was controlling the whole uh, stage duty. Adi has called me and said that, Pratap, can you not take it afterwards? Because that woman is very adamantly asking me to take her, her program first. And I very politely told Adi, Adi Kaka, children are young children. They are five years, six years. If they start sleeping, this is in the, during the night time. If they start sleeping, I will be helpless. I won't be able to do any, anything. And then Adi appreciated my stand and they said, all right, you go ahead with your program. And she was not very happy about it. But then we did it. And believe me, she what, what she said, the children have stolen the show. The children have stolen the show. Mm. And there was much talk about this drama. We had we have we had uh, given the role of avatars to very, very young children, very small and young children, right from five, five years to about uh, six, seven, eight, eight years. They were very young. Some people, some children were not even not able to stand properly. But then they were brought before the public in that in that form of Zoroaster, in the form of Ram, in the form of Krishna, in the form of Gautam, Gautam Buddha, then Jesus Christ, and then Muhammad. Muhammad also <laughs> brought. People were very critical about that because they said that. 
if you show Muhammad in a human form, the Mohammedans will not like it. They will beat you. But nothing happened. Mm. Uh, everybody enjoyed that. Uh, and lastly, Nir Baba. So this, uh, this is just really now actually it's unimaginable that how it happened. Every 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 year we were giving a dramatic performance. Every year. Mm. So do you, do you have that script? Uh, for the drama, yeah, yes, 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 because that will be yes. nice uh, for young people, uh, kids to perform. They can follow the script and do it. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. And yes. This time when I see you, maybe I can <laughs> uh, get hold of it because I'll be there for Amartiti this time. Yeah. You, 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 you will not be there. I, I will come. I will come for Amartiti. I will be there. So fine, 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 fine. So today, shall we close now with Arti? Yeah. Uh, one thing, one thing I would just say. <laughs> um, now, since you are telling me about the stories, I have one, one uh, skit in Hyderabadi language. <laughs> Hyderabadi oh. Hindi. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Hyderabadi uh, Hindi is like uh, Bombay Chapuri special. language. <laughs> special, special Hindi. So my my children do it. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Sometime I may, I may do it here and uh, tell the people the whole. Uh, before before and tell the people the whole theme and then <laughs> perform it only few people who are who can understand hindi uh, they will enjoy it right but Pratabji, i pratap ji mm -hmm. can we have the marathi rt please sorry C can we have the marathi rt please jay baba pratap ji Jai Baba, Jai Baba, Jai Baba. Yeah, uh, Felicity requests uh, Marathi Aarti today. Marathi Aarti, oh, yes. Yeah, right. yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. To be taken, you know. जिथे कल्पना शब्द नाती ऐसा पुरुषमा नेती भूमि वेद ही थकले महिमा तुझा पां मैं हर अवताना स्वीकारा आरती तुझी के लिए मनी निरंजन लाऊंगी जो समराची मैं हर अवताना स्वीकारा आरती तुझी के लिए मनी निरंजन लाऊंगी जो तमनाची धूप गाड़ों ने दीप लाऊंगे पुष्पे अर्पुने देवा पुष्पे अर्पुने मोठे पन का मजला तुमसे तुम मादेवुनी मेहर अवतारा Svikara arati tumchi ke ni mani ni ranjani na uni jo samna chhi. Tumi takar ka tumi takar ka adi tumi anti deva adi tumi anti. तुम क्या समो तुम्हीं सदैवाद सरीना उपी देवाद सरीना उपी 
मेहर उतारा स्वीकारा आरती ही तुम जी के लिए मनी निरंजन लावनी जो तमना ची तुम ची माया सर्वचरा चवी छाया ही तुम ची देवा छाया ही तुम ची अनंत तुम्हें तोरी नकड़े वरना भी कई ची मेहर अवतारा स्वीकारा आरती तुम ची के लिए मनी निरंजन नामुनी जूत मना ची माधा मदना ठावन महिमा सांगुतव कैसा महिमा सांगुतव कैसा अज्ञपने मी गातो भर तो माधा भावसा देवा माधा भावसा मेहर अवतारा स्वीकारा आरती तुम ची के लिए मनी निरंजन लाऊंगी जो तमना ची कृपा वंत तुम्हें सीम तुम मा काय पुनी जावे देवा काय पुनी जावे एक मागने स्मरण तुझे रित तब बना वावे मेहर उतारा स्वीकारा आरती तुम जी के लिए मनी निरंजन नामी जो समना जी मेहर उतारा स्वीकारा आरती तुम जी के लिए मनी निरंजन नामी जो Jai Baba. Wow, what a session! What a beautiful session. Oh, thank you. Great Thanks. song, Thanks. lovely story, so touching, all of them. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Anybody, please go ahead. I mean. <laughs> रिकॉर्डिंग अगेन आई लाइक एवरी वर्ड ऑफ इट I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, but so much tricks are there. Pratap ji, some verses are not there in some versions. You added a, a new verse today. I have heard for first time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Everybody. But then uh, then then uh, this this certain song they create emotions in us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The power of poetry and music that goes right in, definitely direct yeah. to the heart. Yes. 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 Thank you. Jai Baba. Yeah. Jai Baba. Otar. Behir Baba. Baba. Jai. थैंक यू प्रताप जी जय बाबा जय बाबा जय थैंक बाबा जय बाबा प्रताप आई जस्ट हैड अ थॉट वॉज यू हैव सो मेनी वॉन्डरफुल स्टोरीज यू नो एंड <laughs> people write them and make books and stuff but i don't think you have any books <laughs> my god, my god. <laughs> I mean, 
we can listen to recordings, but books are popular. Baba books. Yes. Somebody you have come, wonderful stories. Somebody will yep. come to come to for for yep. meeting a book form. One of your kid your kids will <laughs> yes, yes. get inspired. Yes. So we'll pray for it. Jerry Bob. What a great yeah. idea. Beautiful. It's a great idea, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think what can be done, Pratabji, maybe yes. the book will take shape whenever Baba wants it. But at this time, if you have a chance, you can uh, have somebody take down all the stories from you and yes. put it in uh, some book form. I, I mean, notes, simply. I mean, <laughs> a notebook or something. And when <laughs> Baba wants it, uh, it will shake, take shape, and uh, be accessible. I, to all. I, I, I will, I will take this thought very seriously. Yeah, no, it will really yes. help the posterity. Yeah. Oh, yes. there's such beautiful, intimate interactions you had yeah, with Baba. That's Bob important. Yeah. The whole thing is just so touching, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nothing mm -hmm. like the narration of it, your voice and, and the uh, emotions that show in your face is precious. Um, and that will be kept for posterity digitally, but also it would be <clears> lovely <throat> to have it in book form. Yes. That is what matters, in fact. All that philosophy is all right. It is at its place, but then that emotions which is created because of some the remembrance of Baba, some stories about Baba, some memories about Baba and singing. That that really what matters, that creates a love in our hearts. You will not believe, but then when I sit alone, all these pictures comes to my mind. When I narrate certain things, that actual that picture comes before my eyes. The, mm -hmm. And that's what we feel. When you feel it, we feel it. So yes. not as much, of course. Not as we wish we were there too. <laughs> <laughs> but you convey that. Very nice. Beautiful. Yes. yes. But one thing is that, that you will excuse me for my English. Oh, your English is so good. Right. Beautiful. So Beautiful. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, everybody gets used to it after that. You listen to one session and the next time you're tuned to it. So let me tell you this much. It took me years to get used to Bauji's uh thing, you know, uh his dial his tonation and dialect and style, but with yours it's very easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jai Baba. Jai Baba, Jai Baba, everybody, Jai Baba. Jai Baba.